In a recent interview, Alex Reed came out about phone conversations that she had with her close friend, Bobby Christina. This same friend can be found on Bobby Christina's Instagram, and this friend states that she had to come out and reveal the phone conversations that she had with Bobby Christina, who confided in her and sworn her to secrecy after she revealed that she was being physically abused by Nick Gordon, who would choke her, punch her in the jaw, throw her in the walls and do unbelievable stuff to her. Alex said that Nick Gordon had an off-the-handle temper about small things as Bobby Christina would explain to her. And it was revealed that Nick Gordon could not control himself. Here is the actual E! online interview. Now, this is a really tough time. What are just your feelings overall about what has happened to your friend? Well, obviously when the news first came out, it was shocking. Um, and it was a lot of tears, tons of crying. I was just thinking it was a dream and praying that somehow it was just the rumor mill and I was immediately reaching out to her. Bobby Christina Brown's close friend Alex Reed emotional as she remembers that fateful day in January when Chrissy was found unresponsive in a bathtub inside her Georgia home. What was the first thing that went through your head as far as what happened? What really happened? I'm sorry, I have chills. Uh, I'm sorry, sweetheart. When Alex first became friends with Bobby Christina two years ago, Chrissy opened up to her about her relationship with Nick Gordon. Pretty soon after we met, she started telling me, you know, about the times when he had been physically abusive. And, um, it just kept really escalating. It just kept getting worse and worse. How many times would you say you had a conversation where she was distraught or brought up that Nick was being abusive to her? I can think of four really extreme instances. She would call me and if I didn't answer, it would be, Alex, I need you. Like, Alex, please call me right now. And I could tell it was urgent. And of course I would call. And that's when she would be crying and I couldn't even understand the words coming out of her mouth. She'd just hyperventilate. And I remember being on the phone for three hours of her hyperventilating. I was sitting there with her talking about just being, she's in her mom's closet and she's hyperventilating and I can't understand a word out of her mouth. And she would go in her mom's closet. Was that a place where she would find a little peace and comfort? Yes, exactly. And what sorts of things would he do to her? He was known to choke her, definitely, um, throw her into walls, punch her in the jaw. It's like just unbelievable stuff. Like, un like, like he really, it was like this off the handle temper. And I would always ask her like, what started this? Where did this come from? And it would always just be nothing. Like it would always be something really small that you would argue with somebody about normally in a relationship, but he just, he just couldn't control himself. This is Gabby Ray Talker. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube page and come check out my other YouTube videos as well. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.